You know, Sammy Hagar in the circles on the order at the Strat tonight and tomorrow in Vegas. I'm sure you know that. And I seen you went back and forth with Sammy on his homemade chips on Twitter. He needs the Cabo Wabo chip. You know, make that happen. Let's go. So. You know, I saw he replied to me, but I didn't see what he wrote because I've been on the air. I don't know what he wrote back to me, but I saw that he did respond to my tweet. Yeah, it was pre- it was pretty funny. I know you guys are close. Um, yeah, he well, he this, yeah. Um, he was writing for, for for people that don't know what what Steve's saying is, Sammy's very Sammy's very active on social media, which is cool. I mean, a guy that has that much going on. T- traditionally, older people don't aren't as active in engaging with people on social media, but Sammy does. And Sammy put up a video of him frying his own homemade potato chips, and I replied to it because and it's it's a bad thing, but I love stuff like that. Like it's I'm a carb junkie, so I'm like that's like my favorite thing ever that you're doing. And I gave him a little plug. I said wash it down with some of your beach bar cocktails. So he replied to it. I didn't re- see what he wrote yet, but um, I do know he's playing in Vegas this week, and unfortunately I'm not there. But I have seen that show at the Strat a couple months ago. Right, and as you know, Sammy's great. He's great every single time. And my main point was, you know, the Van Halen tribute talk a couple months back, how that was batted around, and, you know, whatever Alex does, that's absolutely fine. He owes us nothing. It'd be great to have a tribute show at least one time for Eddie's sake and the band's history's sake. But if you're a Van Halen fan, catch Sammy in the circle this summer because – A lot of their set is Van Halen. Of course, Sammy plays some of his solo stuff. They play Rock and Roll by Zeppelin. You know, that's fine. And that's, but this is like the Van Halen tribute that we're going to get, in my opinion. I don't think we're ever going to get a show just because the Van Halen camp always drags its feet. And again, I love Alex and, and Wolfie's doing his own thing, which is wonderful. But if you're a Van Halen fan, this might be all we ever get. So please go get Sammy. And the, and the tickets are not an astronomical amount as far as price whatsoever. So we can, you know, more or less, if you're going to any concert this year, you can afford to go to Sammy. Yeah, it's a great show. It's affordable. You get Van Halen. I told Sammy and Michael that, you know, now you got Michael singing some of the Roth stuff, that they should do a lot more Van Halen because it's the only place to hear it live. So I agree with you completely, Steve. Thank you for your call. I can add something to this real quickly here because we're going to run out of time. But I had a very, very, very reliable source tell me last night at at, uh, at the Black Crow show that there is that the holdup, on the Van Halen anything happening is a lot of it falling on David Lee Roth. That David Lee Roth, to no surprise, this shouldn't be a surprise to anybody, is a difficult guy to wrangle, a difficult guy to get an answer on, a difficult guy to get focused on anything, a difficult guy to get to sign off on anything. He is all over the map, as you would expect and have seen throughout history. And that the big holdup in anything happening with Van Halen is not Alex, who wants to do it and is trying, it's actually Roth who needs to sign off and be involved. Also, contrary to any reports that of anything different, Alex and Michael Anthony are totally cool, and there's no issue there at all. And the stumbling block is trying to get Alex and Dave on the same page, and Dave wanting to do this and uh, how they're going to do it. And that's really one of the big stumbling issues and it did not escape anybody, as I've said before. You got two Taylor Hawkins tributes uh, in two different countries, two months after Taylor passed, or so. And here we are coming up on two years, and they can't figure out anything for Eddie. It's crazy. Hopefully, that'll be corrected. Thank you all for listening. Sorry if it didn't get to you. Enjoy the long holiday weekend.